Microsoft will be hosting an event on June 24. It is being expected that they will announce the launch of Windows 11 that day. But somehow the ISO file got leaked. Lucky for us, so we can test the new UI of Windows 11. So guys, this is Windows 11 and you are watching Tech Hack. Now let's see how Windows 11 leaks suggest new features and a refined look. There will be lots of features missing because that's a leak version but I can already tell it's worth it. Now let's change the white theme to dark first. So that is our new Windows button. Wow, Windows look really good. I feel like I am using some Linux operating system. And that's all apps here. Here is the search button to search for different kinds of files. And also we can web search like Windows 10. Here is new task viewer button to create new windows and we can switch between them. So that feature is also available on Windows 10 but this one looks better. So that is the new feed button that contains lots of widgets like weather, news, games. So after that we have the new file explorer. I like these icons. It reminds me of Ubuntu. Now that is the Microsoft Edge. Um, looks like same as Windows 10 but the corners are rounded. Also we have some awesome transition and blurry effects. A kind of gradient but little transparent. Let's try to multitask. Mm, looks like multitasking in Windows 11 is easier than Windows 10. Notification and tiles are also little blurry and transparent. Here we got the new touch keyboard and it has emojis button. And it got also the clipboard and also emoticons. I like the keyboard but it looks more like a material transparent keyboard. And here is some new Windows 11 sounds. Now let's take a look at task manager. Looks like they have also edited some details in task manager. They created some sections. They grouped the apps that are running currently also showing background process and windows process and the rest is same i think let's go to windows security and see if any changes came or not looks like nothing has changed here so far it's obvious guys because it's just a leak version so we cannot expect more I have noticed a new option when I am right clicking on mouse and that is Windows Terminal. Earlier in Windows 10 we had to press the shift and mouse right click together to open a Windows Terminal but looks like it's easy now. In the same terminal window now we can add another command shell. Even we can add a cloud shell. Nicely done Windows 11. I almost forgot to show you the power button. That is the new power button that looks good I think. That is the Windows specification. I am running Windows 11 Pro and obviously that is a developer version. One more interesting feature we got in multitasking and that is the title bar window shake. I really like the feature because it's kind of funny. So if I grab any particular windows title bar and shake it, the other apps windows will be minimized. Wow, nice on Microsoft. So guys, that was all for the video. If you want to test the windows 11 and 
want me to make an installation video of Windows 11 like dual booting on Windows 10, just post a comment in my video and don't forget to like and subscribe me.